Israeli military leaders have just called for a full siege in the Gaza Strip. No electricity, food, or fuel. It's the newest move in a deadly conflict that started with surprise attacks from Hamas. And fighting in and over Israel is now in its third day. Rockets are still flashing across the sky. Israel has formally declared war. The death toll is now past 1,100, and including at least 700 in Israel, 400 more in the Palestinian territories. Israeli officials say as many as 1,000 Hamas fired, fighters forced their way through a fortified border fence and fired on soldiers and civilians in Israeli communities along the Gaza frontier. The push included an assault on a music festival, killing 260 or more people there. Israel struck back with airstrikes. The White House says the United States could announce aid for Israel soon. We want to make sure that Israel has what it needs. At the same time, President Biden was very clear in sending a message to anyone in any other area who might try to take advantage of the situation not to. CNN is now reporting at least four Americans died in the attacks. Defense Secretary Lloyd, Lloyd Austin says he ordered the Ford Carrier Strike Group to sail to the eastern Mediterranean to be ready to help Israel. That deployment includes a host of ships and warplanes and 5,000 sailors.